All right, so uh, as I mentioned in um, the previous video, what we're gonna be talking about today is uh, design thinking uh, and the different phases and stages, right? We'll be talking about empathizing, ideating, prototyping, and measuring. So th this is an MRI, right? This is a, a very typical MRI that um, you can find in a hospital. And this is also an MRI, albeit a bit, a bit different, right? Uh, much more colorful. Uh, it's almost like you're jumping on a, on a pirate ship, right? Uh, on a very old ship. So why, why do we have these different um, MRI machines in existence? Why do these exist? Right? And, and the story tells that one of the creators of these MRI machines, he was in the hospital. Um, this is a terrific story he was in the hospital and he was sort of waiting to see how the machine worked and he was watching the people walk in and out and it was working great. And then what happened was he saw this tiny, this smaller uh, kid um, walking towards the room with the machine and he was crying and the parents were telling him that he had needed to be brave, that he already, that they already had discussed this uh, and that it will be over soon. So he went back to talk to the nurses and to ask her, why, why are people crying when they jump on this machine? Why, why do these like, younger kids are crying? What's going on? And he found out that they were having to sedate 80% of kids uh, to get them to do the MRI. Now, these are sick kids. So imagine you're feeling sick, you're feeling unwell. You go walk into a hospital, which is already pretty scary. And you walk into this room, there's warning, all this very sterile. Uh, there's, yeah, there's warning signs. Everything has to be looked after. So um, not the best experience. So what, what he went back to, to his office and he worked on a different type of MRI that will work better for this um, segment of users. Yes. So what he came up with this uh, GE Adventure series, uh, you can Google this, it's, it's really great to see all these different models they have. There's like a jungle model. Um, this case you see in the screen, there's the, this submarine model. So kids, uh, they, they had to stop sedating kids and this 80% went down to like about 10%. And then suddenly the kids wanted to go again on these adventures. And this completely shifted the experience of uh, the users using MRI machines. So, um, so why do I bring this up, right? This is social enterprise, this is not uh, um, biomed um, medicine uh, workshop, right? The, the, the reason is that the main shift in the mindset when designing these MRIs is very much related with design thinking. And that is why design thinking was created. Uh, we used to create products very much product centered. The design was product centered, right? So the MRI to the left, this MRI here, then uh, it's very functional, right? You get in bed, it will work. It will work really well, probably very efficient. Uh, it's smaller than some others that I've seen. It's fantastic. Maybe they have some airflow in, inside, so it works really well. However, the MRI to the right, that was designed thinking of the user experience first and the products afterwards, right? So you can have the best machine, very functional to the left, but then if your users can't access it, or if they access it, it's, it's a traumatic experience to use your product, then you are in trouble. So this is a, a bit of why, why do we need design thinking? Is this human-centered design of products that we need to do. So in the next video, we'll be talking about empathizing. So st stay with me and uh, I'll see you shortly.